Hey everybody, how's it going? Be right back, T-Break here today doing a Water Walker video on my user interface. First I'll go over all the add-ons and weak cores that I use, and then I'll tell you how to get them and how to set them up like I do. So firstly, the big one is LVY, and this is an overall cosmetic suite for the most part. Don't really require it, but it just makes things less, you know, less hassle, and it makes things really clean. So you can see here my bags and my, you know, my character panel here, it's all very nice and aesthetically pleasing. At the same time, it also skins my things like weak auras, it skins my bartender, and also skins my, um, my big wig slash DBM. Just gives me a constant look, which is really, really nice to have. Next is my weak auras. Um, the core one in the center here is by Sios, but I've changed it slightly. I've made the numbers much, much bigger. I've also made the cooldowns appear in the center of the screen because my cast bars down here. There's things like that, and just makes things, I think, just easier to read and really, really helpful. So my other weak auras, I also have this really nice big buff bar on the left hand side here, Boomkin buffs. And I track all externals and also all buffs that I want to have on myself. So things like Bloodlust, Heroism are obviously tracked. My Potion, depending if I use Deadly Grace or if I use um, Prolonged Power, they're both tracked. Incarnations, I also use this for multiple specs, so I have things like Guardian up here also. Warrior of a Loon, some Feral buffs, Innovate, because I sometimes heal if I really, really have to. Whispers is the big one here, you want to try to get Whispers procs, which is very, very important. But also things like, you know, Bark Skin, Guardian, buffs that get onto you from your allies just to save you is really, really helpful. But also personal buffs like Dashing, or, you know, Sprint, whatever you want to call it, uh, Bark Skin, Frenzy Region if you're tanking, or even if you're just, you know, in, um, Guardian Affinity, they're all really, really helpful to have up. And last but not least, I have this little Druid form thing over here, because the problem is if you're wearing toys or whatnot, you can't see what stance you're in. So if I'm like a bear, you know, I'm a bear, I'm running around, I want to remind myself, you're a bear, get out of it. So I have the what uh, stance I'm in, and I also show I am, uh, I'm not in Boomkin form. Because also, when you're in human form, you can still cast the same spells, so you really want to have this up. Because yeah, as I said, if you have a toy on, I can't tell what stance I'm in right now, if I'm in feral or whatnot, and if I go like, you know, if I blink around, which I actually don't have displace a beast, but if I displace a beast somewhere, and then I start like casting a spell straight away, and I'm on chicken form, it's actually kind of a big deal, so yeah. And then I have my Genosis set up, and this is, um, again, I've copied this to somebody else, but I'll have the links just because that way you can have the, um, proper positioning. Genosis. This is my cast bar add-on, pretty much. Uh... Actually, kind of the show, can I? It's kind of hard to see behind us anyway. Either way, it shows things like um, your cast bar, but also for things that are instant cast, it has the global cooldown timer here, which is very, very helpful. Also shows your target, what they're casting. So I have this lined up perfectly with my big wigs. So the cast bar for my target is above the big wigs timer, and that way I can see everything together really, really nice and simple. Now, I mentioned it before, Big Wigs is my boss mod add-on of choice. It's pretty much the same as DBM. The reason I use Big Wigs is because I've had it installed since, like, early Rash, late Burning Crusade. And it's just very, very clean to use. This is all my anchors you can see. Um, these ones are whatever you want, really. These bars up here are based off my Genesis and LVI. So if I get some um, test bars in here, you'll see that's under here. It's also under my target cast bar up there, so I can see what the boss is doing while also tracking the big cooldowns that are coming up very soon. Also, my big wigs are skinned with my LVY, that way it's all consistent, and as you can see, just really, really, really nice. So my nameplate add-on is Kui, I think you pronounce it, K-U-I nameplates, and really anything works. You can use tardy plates, for example, I used to use that until it got busted in the other uh, walls of Draenor, and pretty much what you want here is to have the bars really, really big and easy to see. At the same time, you want to show a cast bar, at least for your targets, and you also want to make sure you can track dots. So if you're doing multi-target, you're doing a Mythic Plus dungeon or something, you need to make sure your dots are on everything. So just having the bar up there is really, really helpful. Obviously, you're tracking it down here, but you're not going to click six targets in a Royal Weapon who has a Sunfire buff on them. Another add-on is Range Display. Super simple. It just shows you how far you are from the target which obviously is really helpful for doing maximum damage. Um, it changes colors also depending on how far you are, which is nice. Mine's based off my balance tree, which is 45 yards. And also the sound effect playing, or it should. Yeah, it's very, very quiet. <laughs> um, I have a sound effect playing also. Just make sure you're in range of your targets. Really helpful for maximizing DPS. But also, like, when you're working out raid strats, working out ranges on things, it's really nice to work out, you know, hey, can I actually DPS from over here on the screen? My damage meter of choice is Skarda, 
and that's embedded into my LVY via another add-on called Add-on Skins. You could use Details, and to be honest, Details is probably a bit better, but Scarlet is very, very lightweight. The main thing is, is you have LVY set up with your add-on skins to allow you to embed it into this section over here. Next is Bartender, which is all my buttons down here. Again, you can use something like Dominoes, you can use something like just the basic LVY one. My one's a little complex. The reason I have mine designed as it is because I want to be super simple and I don't want any irrelevant information on my screen while I'm in combat. That's just in general how my whole UI is designed. Um, so I hide all my bars in combat besides a bar that appears when I'm in combat. So for example, you know, all my buttons down here, I already know all my keybinds in my head. I don't need to look at how often, or I don't need to look at my, you know, wrath bar or where my moonfire is. So I hide all those details and everything on the screen right now is important to me besides this quest log up here. So I have up over here all my big cooldowns and whatnot, my tracking, my my uh, energy and stuff, and some other weaker cooldowns down here. And these are just bartenders that show up when in combat. I could make these weak or to be honest, and make them even better and make them cleaner, because this way you can click on them by mistake. But um, I'm a bit lazy about it, so I just have it set up this way right now. But yeah, weak or are just as good. You can sit them up over here somewhere, even just down here in the corner. Doesn't actually matter. I also have a bunch of macros which are very very helpful. You might have seen here, um, I have for example Displace of Beast, Wild Charge right now. Oh sorry, Wild Charge yeah, is the name of the spell right now. But if I um, change my talent, it actually changes on the bar also. I have it also set up for these ones over here which only appear during um, certain setups. Uh, so for example, Astral Communion, if for some reason you pick this, it appears on this button, Shift 6. But if you pick up Blessing of the Ancients, it also appears there. Same here, your Wild Charge. This place a beast renewal. I have separate uh, macros for my force of nature because I want to have it. Um, what do you call it? It's like mouse over. You press a button and instantly it happens. That's why I have that for those guys over there. Uh, same for typhoon. Typhoon, mass entanglement, and money bash are all on the same key. And it's a really nice and clean way of doing things, really. Okay, so where do we get all these add-ons from? Firstly, LVY and my weak chorus will be on. Wajo.io, W-A-G-O.io, I have a link below to the direct links to it, and that'll give you the direct setup, so it'll even be like designed for your screen and whatnot, and that way it will snap to this position, you have pretty much this and this instantly, which is obviously what you want in the game, also my other weak auras on the side here which aren't appearing right now because we're doing stuff obviously, there's bark skin, there you go. Um, so for my Genosis, which is my cast bar, which is very very important to have, you know, um, my weak or uh, my big weak link to that's gonna be on a pace bin link and that will give you for my character my GCD bar my targets and um, I think there's a pet bar in there I'm not too sure actually there's no reason to have anything besides yourself and the target anyway um, there's no focus one but if you want to focus one just copy the um, the target one and just change it to focus obviously now everything else for whatever reason you can't give like, a profile for it so I'll go through it very slowly here and also tell you uh, why I pick certain things. So we got QE nameplates is number one. QE nameplates, please. So go through this very slowly. And as I said though, you just want to have the health bars really, really big uh, when possible. And you want to have big cast bars. You can't see it right now because no one's casting. That's a very big tree for some reason. Um, text very large also. But yeah, you can just do whatever you want for this to be honest. Just have the, the frame really wide. Big cast bar, or is obviously a, mu a must have. Um, fret is whatever. And yeah, that's that for um, QE. My big wigs, there's nothing really set up here to be honest. M remember, the toggles are based off my um, LVY and my Genosis, so as long as you have those set up, you can actually just copy those settings right there. Um, I have it to make it look a bit nicer, just mainly through things like uh, what's it called? That add on. <laughs> uh, LVY. But for the most part, um, just very simple settings, whatever you want, to be honest, just make sure the bars line up nicely so they all fit perfectly underneath your, like, health bar and whatnot, which make it look really, really aesthetically pleasing, a pleasing, appeasing, that's even a word. Uh, range display, simple here, really, I just have, um, you can drag it to where you want to have it, which is just above my health bar, really, wherever, or my target, sorry. Uh, I have enemy sounds on, but it's so quiet, I can't even hear it half the time, I need to increase it somehow. Um, I also changed the range to 45 on my one, personally as a balance druid, but obviously change it to what you need for your class. 
Um, Skarda. Skarda's a bit annoying to set up, actually. Oh, Skarda toggle, isn't it? Oh, config. What am I thinking? Config. So, Skarda, um, here are my settings. You can make it however you want to look, really. I don't have a title bar, for example, but, um, I just know, like, all the key binds that use that instantly. There's that. I should show you how to do the LVI link also. There's some things in here. I don't track certain things. Um, like, I don't care about defs. I don't track, like, something else, either, like, interrupts or something like that. Either way, there's that. Um, I'll show you how to do it in LVI. So you get LVI add on skins. Tons of these turned off because they kept giving me, like, um, what's it? They keep giving me, uh, errors. So they're all turned off. I don't know why, but they are. You can see which items I have skins up here. And to embed it, you go boss mod options. No, embed settings, sorry. <laughs> Single embed system and scarter. You could have two scarters where you have like healing and damage, but who cares about healers? So there's that. And last but not least is bartender. Now this one I think is just a mess. Do not copy what I do. Um, see so here are all the bars as you can see. So I got a stance bar up there too, but who cares? Um, you can see here there's bar one, two, and three. But there's like bars behind it also, and this is where the annoying ones are. So if I can um, somehow show you... How do I show the bars? Uh, I can just hide the other ones, I guess. No, I need to hide bar 1. So behind bar 1 is bar like 3, which has my core stuff. And then behind that again, I have like, uh, was that bar f 3 over here? No, bar 3 is that. I got like bar 2, which I think is like my um, Guardian Druid stuff. Because I don't know my Guardian Druid stuff, or I don't know my um, my buttons while I'm in Guardian because I don't play it. So this way it appears like that. But uh, yeah, you can probably do a better setup than I do in terms of that. I'll show you actually how to set it up quickly. It's not too bad actually. Bartender. Pretty much your main bars. Um, everything you want to see while you're running around. Visibility settings, you want to have it in hiding combat. That's about it really. Um, and the bars I want to show up during combat, so like my bar 3, which is like my um, bars you see in my balanced steward form. This is um, hide out of combat. So that way, simply, you know, in combat, the bars aren't there. And in combat, the bars show up. When you leave combat, this bar disappears and the other ones reappear. I also have it for my cat form also, which is um, whatever, but you know, there's that. So that's my UI in a nutshell guys, as I said, it's very simple, very effective, and in combat, the idea is to just hide out all the irrelevant information and have the things that are important to you in the game right now. Um, at the same time, not everything is 100% locked in stone, obviously you don't even need U LVUI, it just gives me a nice name, or nice um, health bar add-on right here, really, that's the only reason I use it, and it looks nice over here, I guess. Um, I used to use Pitbull, for example, but before it I got outdated like all hell. Bartender, my setup is totally extreme. You could just, you know, use LVY and have a really small at the bottom of the screen. You could make it just appear and appear weak auras. Um, at the same time, things like my uh, health bars, you know, my QE nameplates are really, really large. Some people like them smaller. D damage meters, you want details, whatever you want. There's so much customization, but as I said, copy the LVY pack, copy the, um, the weak aura pack, and just work from there for the most part. Uh, get Genosis most, um, most definitely, though, for the cast bars, and yeah. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, leave your questions below, and I'll see you guys next time.